One important thing to know about Judge Mark McLean is that he is a die-hard sports fan. Whether he is cheering on his Boston Red Sox, Dallas Cowboys, Texas Longhorns, or Marble Falls Mustangs, his passion is evident. But his passion extends much farther than his love for the game. When you see that sparkle in his eye, you know that you're in for a really great story. A native of Burnett County, Judge McLean attended school in Lampasas, where his political career began in earnest. His election as student body president was a foretelling of a future in public service. His public life reflects the heart of a servant, and his volunteer resume reads like a novel. Judge McLean participated in the JCs, was a charter member of the Optimist Club that directed the building at the Little League Field, a charter member of the Kiwanis Club, and of course, a staunch supporter of the Mustang Booster Club. He served Marble Falls as the president of the Chamber of Commerce, as a board member of the Counseling Center, as a board member and president of Marble Falls Independent School District, and as a founding member, volunteer, and board member of the Helping Center. He was appointed as municipal judge from 1970 until he was elected as county judge in 1990. For 12 years, he dedicated his service to Burnett County families as our county judge. He served Central Texans as the board member for the Lower Colorado River Authority, CAPCO executive board member, and board member of Blue Bonnet Trails Community Services. He served his state and his country in the Texas National Guard in the 36th Infantry Division. Judge McLean has been celebrated with numerous civic and service awards. In addition, he's been honored by the LCRA with a helipad at the Canyon of the Eagles and by Blue Bonnet Trails Community Services, naming our Burnett County building after the judge and his buddy, the late Lou Rio. His private life took off 56 years ago when he married his beautiful wife, Gladys, and began his family. It is clear that his three children, Kevin, Brenda, and Scott, and three grandsons, are a tremendous source of pride and bring him great joy. The stories of weekends on the lake, football games, and baseball scores abound. And if you've ever had the pleasure of a visit with Judge McLean over at the Waterburger, you would know in a flash that his two great-grandchildren, Cooper and Peyton, send him over the moon. But I have to say the most important thing to know about our Judge McLean is that he sees the world through the lens of what it means to be a good neighbor. Something changes in a man when he places his faith family, and community first. When it comes to where he lives, Judge McLean sees his neighborhood not just as a location, but as a place where he helps create. He has created a healthy neighborhood filled with belonging, identity, empathy, fulfillment, and a strong sense of community. Our community is truly stronger because of his efforts, and I know I've become a better neighbor because of him. To our friend, our coach, our mentor, our champion, and our very good neighbor. Here's to you, Judge McClain. Martin and I have been friends since the early 70s. He's been a family friend of my family's and my wife for years. And the most important thing about Martin and his contribution to our county is the fact that he is so good with people and he cares about people and he wants to help people. I've known him over the years as county attorney, as an attorney, as a friend, and like I stated, everything has to do with him being a, wanting to help people and helping people. One thing that he told Donna was that last time he saw Brother Max, Brother Max told him, when you see people you care for, tell them you love them. Martin, Gladys, Donna and I love you for everything you've done for this community and everything you've done to help all the people in this area. Judge McLean. I've always respected your honesty and your ability to hear others, your deep desire to help all people, anybody that uh, needed that help, you were willing to do that. I know that that's something that me and many, many others will treasure for a long, long time. 